All right, gamers. Uh, this video we've got the i3 or excuse me, i5 13400F. Um, let me just show you this thing before we get going. So here you see in using Intel's XTU i5 13400F. Uh, just eight gigs of RAM, DDR5, 4,800 megahertz. Back to the CPU, it's 10 cores, six performance, four efficiency cores. I've got the Aris B760M Elite AX. Uh, it's made by Gigabyte. BIOS on here, F1. There's probably a newer one available. And in a moment, we'll get uh, Afterburner working, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, it's probably not completely compatible with the CPU yet, but uh, I hope it will actually uh, function. A lot of times you get a new CPU and things don't work so great. So we'll check back here in a little bit, folks. We'll, uh, we'll look at, you know, max temp, uh, what this gets up to. Of course, the CPU in a single core benchmark will get higher than we'll see in gaming. And then we'll also see what kind of power it gets used. So I'm going to clear this data. And hopefully by the end of the video, folks, you can uh, check back and see that, right? If I remember. If I forget, then uh, that's another story. All right, so we want to get Afterburner going. Now this is uh, EVGA RTX 3060 Ti, which is, you know, probably a really good CPU to pair this with. Plan on getting the RTX 4070 Ti, which this would not probably be great, but they we're playing 1440p. This is performance, uh, oops, it's fast. Performance low, all right. And this is a uh, you know a good setting for uh, CPUs really to kind of compare them. We should see some pretty decent uh, FPS average with this, and it would obviously be better if I had another eight gigs of RAM attached, but. Uh, that's currently with my i9. So. Uh, of course, I do have. So I may in the future either run this with the 4800 megahertz that I have. Uh, be a total of 16 gigs where I might put 32 gigs of 5200 megahertz in it. But at least you know here you can see pretty pretty decent FPS. Now this CPU is in some aspects 18% or so better than uh, the i5 12400F. That's a significant uh, boost in performance from there. Close to this. All right, let's move it back down. Now looking at the uh, CPU utilization, probably not the uh, the best numbers there. By far, right? We really want to see the GPU percentage much higher. And the CPU percentage 
nice and low. We are getting that low, but so honestly, uh, kind of unexpected that percentages are where they're at. Now I may do a uh, version of this with I may do a version of this with uh, what you call it. Sorry. Sometimes I get a little distracted trying to take a scheme and you know. All right, sir. I may do the same settings with with a uh, uh, DX twelve. Yeah. Sorry, it won't be the same settings. But we'll do probably competitive settings. I would say which has better uh, view distance and textures. So I'll tell you, this season I have not been playing as much as we have in the past. Been so busy. We'll try and get that uh, squared away here. Okay, it's got a heavier. Uh, Every game, right? That might have not have been so smart. Let's see if we can get this guy. We don't have any kills yet. And this guy's getting on my nerves. All right, now we got a kill. Got to be careful who you attack, right? All right, so see how much wattage the uh, GPUs are using. Let me see if I can find a place to hide, and we'll take a look at the stats so far. To be honest with you, half of you won't make it to the end of this. They got windows everywhere. Um, let's go down. All right, so we're gonna take a look, folks. So our CPU has gotten up to a max of sixty-seven. Utilization for the CPU hasn't gotten any greater than 61. Power usage of the CPU, 60, 59, 60 watts. All right. So in the future, you would hope that... Uh, MSI Afterburner would add 
the ability to see those stats again. And whether they will or not is another story. I know personally I like to see that. Christ didn't protect the U.S. Uh, and I just toss that in there. Right around the tree, right? Yeah, the tree stays. So now we have to chop the tree down. So obviously, uh, this is a low wattage CPU, pretty good performance so far, combined with the RTX 3060 Ti. At least the FPS is right. There's some questions on whether this is a good resolution for it. I would have to say that uh, it would be best to bump this up a little bit. Actually, he's shooting at me. Sorry, but. Not sorry. Come here. Where'd you go, man? Come on, man. Seriously. Man, you can't hit nothing. Switch to shotgun, bro. Oh. Oh, well. Sorry. So, you know, people will uh, comment about my playing, you know, for what it's worth. I'm obviously just okay at this game. But, um, you know, evidently there are some people that aren't very good at all. Uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> Alright, well that guy I did not realize uh that weapon was back. So there you go. 320 FPS. We played for probably at least 10 minutes, I'd say. 18th place finish, not very good. Picked up a couple of kills. It's either two or three, I don't remember. Should have had this guy. I should have, after I hit him the second time, should have switched to uh, machine gun, but sometimes you go to the well a few too many times, right? Hey folks, thanks for checking out the video. I uh, hopefully will have links down below for either other resolutions or you can always search for it. Um, go back to my page and uh, find the other videos in there by searching for the CPU.